The United Nations Security Council held a virtual emergency meeting Sunday to discuss the violence in the Middle East. And this tops our news making national headlines this morning. Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez told the virtual meeting that the United Nations is actively engaging all sides towards an immediate ceasefire. Gutierrez warned that the most serious escalation in violence in Gaza in years only perpetrates or perpetuates the cycles of death, destruction, and despair, and pushes farther to the horizon any, of any hopes, coexistence, and peace. The Secretary General also said he's appalled by the large number of civilian casualties. Israeli airstrikes on, on Gaza City Sunday killed at least 26 people, making it the deadliest single attack since heavy fighting broke out between Israel and Hamas a week ago. Today's the deadline for filing your 2020 tax return if you procrastinated for an extra month. The original filing and payment due date was April 15th, but the IRS pushed the deadline to May 17th. The move gives individual filers, tax preparers, and the IRS itself more time to sort through the many changes affecting one's 2020 taxes from the latest COVID relief package. Unless you choose to file for an extension, you must file and pay any remaining federal income taxes you owe for 2020 by today. Even though the IRS extended the federal filing deadline, it was up to in individual states to set their own tax deadlines. Cleanup continues in Minnesota after a train derailed over the weekend. The Union Pacific train went off the tracks on Saturday, leaving 28 train cars overturned. Two of the cars leaked hydraulic acid, acid according to officials. The Freeborn County Emergency Management says crews began removing the derailed cars Saturday night, and by Sunday afternoon, 14 were cleared. Officials say they are continuing to monitor the area's air and waterways following the incident. There were no injuries reported in the, de in the derailment, and it's unclear what led to the crash.